welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of West for Breakfast. Yes, yes, yes. We got my man, Captain J, and myself, Orlando Presents, right here on the line. Yes, this wonderful Friday, beautiful Friday morning, beautiful here in Virginia, beautiful there in Iowa. Man, y'all call in, call in, call in, 804-286-2096, and let us know what's for breakfast. Let's get it. Captain J, how you doing this morning? Awake, sort of. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's chilly outside, but it's going to be 90 degrees today. Welcome to Iowa, where it's chilly at 6, but brutal at Five. Yeah. <laughs> oh. not, ready for, not ready for the heat, but I'm ready for tonight. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That is so awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, hi. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I woke up, I got to admittedly say I woke up late. <clears throat> Excuse me, I woke okay. up late this morning. Um, haven't been sleeping well again. But, um, you know, it's all good. It's all in God's hands. Um, yeah, man, I, I slept up. I woke, well, I woke up at my regular time, 530. Then I thought about it, and I was like, today is a early, is a late day for me. So I said, you know what? I can go back to sleep. <laughs> so um, I went ahead and uh, went back to sleep. And I got up about 6.30 or so and just get myself together and, you know, voila, now I'm here. Now I'm here. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. I, I, I could sleep in. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Taking that. I'm taking that. I'm taking a nap after that. It's fun. <laughs> Going to bed at midnight thing is not a good thing. Good for me. <laughs> oh, see, that's, see, mm-mm, mm-mm, nah. I can't, well, I can, but I try to, you know, get up as early as I can and everything. And if I turn around and um go to bed at midnight, then that's not going to be a, that's not going to be a pretty thing at all. At all. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely. I try not to do that. <laughs> um, for y'all that may be wondering, what's that instrumental playing in the background? That instrumental is by an artist by the name of Crown One. Um, he just released a brand new single called Pressure. Um, we had the pleasure of having Crown One on our show Wednesday night. And he let everybody know that pressure would be released, and it was released uh, today. So the yeah name of that track is called Pressure, and what we're about to do is we're actually about to go ahead and jump into the actual song Pressure, and we'll be right back with more What's for Breakfast right here on Quake R Y C Praise News, where music is therapy. Let's go. Shout out to DJ Payne. One. Crown. One. God. One. Christ. To be honest, rather be known as Junior than Stephen. But even than Stephen, the reason you'll be fiending for reading. So conflicting in my position. Who am I? What am I giving? Tell me if you die, what is your ownership? Ain't you written the system in cuffs? Where's the land made for us? Project to project, it fears on us. We wanted 40 acres and the freedom papers. Hanging the 40 ounce with pipe dreams to craze us. Liquor stole, gun stole, crime on the incline. Didn't report the substance, but somehow in our bloodline. Modern day goals. Million dollar questions, plotting from the block when they stomach don't respect us. I hear you, where the modern day black Wall Street minus the massacres. Revolution can't be preached, community response in progress, projects in progress. Don't mind me at all, speaking my conscience. 
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, yes, yes. Once again, once again, that was Pressure by uh, Crown One. Uh, brand new music, brand new music. So make sure y'all go out there and cop that. Make sure you go out there and uh, follow Crown One and his brand new single, Pressure. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Man, we're back, y'all. We're back. This is What's for Breakfast, and for those of you that uh, this might be the first time listening in, and this might be your first time listening to the recording, uh, What's for Breakfast isn't just a radio show talking about food and what you're going to eat and things of that nature. We may dibble-dabble into that a little bit, but it's mainly talking about what's for breakfast what are you going to do to feed your soul what are you going to do to allow the heavenly father into your life into your being first thing in the morning so that is what what's for breakfast is all about okay and we would ask that you all run over to the what's for breakfast facebook page and please like our page um, because we will be updating that page um, throughout the day, different things of that nature, uh, letting you know what's going on, new uh, guests that we may be having coming on, things things like that. So we do have a couple of guests for next week. We will announce that a little bit later on in the show. Um, anything new with you, Captain J? Anything new? Um no, we're we'll work in progress here for um, with uh, Capitol Theater here in, in Burlington to be basically like doing promotions for like a summer, summer, summer time series, like concert series type thing, um, and hopefully venture into like fall and winter and Christmas type stuff. And um, yeah, I talked to a few folks there, so, um, but we are we, they have asked to promote the concert for tomorrow with, with Bizzle. Like, can, you, can you do that? Oh, we've been doing that since, since I found out about it. Um, but yeah, Bizzle's coming out to uh, Capitol Theater here uh, tonight. Show starts at, uh, doors open at 7, and the show starts at 8, $20 uh, for the ticket. You either get it on, online at Capitol Theater, uh, the Capitol Theater, I remember the exact website. But it's Capitol Theater in uh, Burlington, Iowa. Uh, go to Bizzle's website on Facebook. He's got tickets available there. Or to show up, I think it's at the door, 20 bucks. Um, it's going to be a great night. We've got 20 people deep coming just that we've invited. Um, so the place holds about 350 people. So it's going to be an intimate place. I mean, you're not going to have thousands of people there. Um, but so we got that going. And hopefully we get some other um, events coming this coming summer and uh, fall over at the Capitol Theater. And we'll bring you out there one day. 
Ain't no hope. Ain't no hopefully. God will make it happen, man. It's all in yeah. God's will. Yeah. God is gonna make it happen. He's gonna blow the yeah. roof off that place, especially since He's allowing you to place your hand on it. So definitely, yeah. brother. Definitely. Yeah. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you, bro. What yeah, I thank you. do you know? Do you know a lot of people that are in the Iowa area? Because I'm I'm feeling generous. I'm feeling generous. And even if you're uh -oh. not in the Iowa area, but if you're in the surrounding areas, maybe we should have built this up. Yeah, never mind, never mind. We'll do it some other time. Cause I was gonna, I was gonna do, I was gonna give away free tickets. I was gonna buy a ticket, you know, for somebody. But um, it would have been better if it was built up and promoted, so that people would know to call in and things of that nature. But we'll do it at another time. So it's all. We'll do that the I'll do that the next show. Yeah, yeah. We'll the do next, it. The next one we have. Yeah. No, really just, we'll do it for the extreme tour to free it, man. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I got you. Got you covered. It's free. I know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, Maybe... and that's the other thing we got going, too, is on the extreme tour. They might be coming to Burlington after the uh, one in Galesburg, because that thing's now opened up. So we may have them in in Burlington, Iowa as well. Man, you uh, you and Judy's gonna have to remind me of the areas that you live in because it's like okay, where where is where Galesburg is in Illinois and Burlington yeah. is in Iowa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, okay. Because yeah. I get confused, man. You know, because y'all are jet setters now. <laughs> and you're and you're traveling, you know, all over the place. You got, you know, you got, um, you you have uh, spots in different area codes, different places, and everything. <laughs> For those of y'all out I got, there, I got, yeah, I got churches in different area codes. You know what I'm saying? Because I was, I was actually another song popped into my head, so I'm glad I didn't say the song. <laughs> <laughs> that, actually, that actually popped. So you, you fresh Christians out there, y'all probably know the song that popped into my head, and I was just about to say it. Then, like, uh, okay, wrong show, wrong show. <laughs> I got churches in all in different areas. Actually, that would be a banging song if somebody can, you know, um, cover it. Yeah, if somebody could put it out there and really do it right or whatever, that would, that would be a banging song. That would actually be a banging, banging song for real. <laughs> I got praise. Uh oh, I got praise in multiple places. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's why I talk and don't sing, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. That proves oh, it right there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear me either. Oh, man. Yeah. Once again, once again, y'all, y'all listening to What's for Breakfast right here on Quake RYC Praise News, where music is therapy. Uh, let your friends know, let your mama know, let your buddies know, let your aunts and uncles know to tune in right now to tune in. Um, there's multiple ways you can tune in. You can tune in by clicking the link that uh, um, that's on the Facebook page post. If you're following myself, or Captain J, or even Mr. Jared, if you're following them, there are links that you can click and listen to the station 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can download the free Live 365 app and favorite Quake RYC Praise News, and you can download the free um, iTunes app and um search for quake radio and in uh, favorite that and follow us that way as well so we'll be more than happy more than appreciative to um have y'all following us and listening to the station and just uh listening to other shows that we have um coming up on the station as well um, for those of you that may be wondering what happened to the video shows and everything, uh, the video shows will be coming back. Um, but honestly, just transparency from me, I felt that I'm best utilized on this end. As far as doing radio shows and things of that nature, this is actually my first love. I love it. I love doing radio. Um, and... And honestly, too, we we draw more. Well, no, we draw more in the video side, but 
it's, it's just, like I said, transparent moment. I just love doing radio. I, I don't know what it is. God put it in me. I, I just love doing radio. I love doing this. That's why I'm drawn back to doing this more av- often. But we are working on a way whereas we can do the video and radio simultaneously. So once we get that figured out on our end and the equipment that we have, you all are in char- trouble. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Shout out to the artists yeah. that we do have coming next week, man, because, um, bro, honestly, I didn't know if anybody would wake up with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's 6 a.m. in Central Time. You're not going to get anybody West Coast. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> that would be hard. Yeah, that's like, what, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning for them? Yeah, all we, uh, all we like West Coast, West Coast is 4 o'clock, probably. Yeah, wow. I don't think you can get up at four a.m. You never know. You never well, know. Well, you know what I love. You know what I love to do. I love to put the um on on some people, not everybody, but I love to put the guilt trip on some folks and and tell them, well, if we were a nationally syndicated show, you know, a lot of times they start off at four or five o'clock in the morning, and their guests come on around that time anyway so it wouldn't be no ifs ands or buts about it you would jump on there and do it but nah i don't know <laughs> that's just a joke though because i don't want nobody saying but you're not a syndicated show <laughs> <laughs> a word show because <laughs> that that joke can backfire real quickly <laughs> yeah. man yeah. um yes it's friday we have a lot of new music that drops on Friday. Y'all know this. One thing that I want to hip y'all to, if you're not hip to it, and uh, to you too, Jason, because I'm not sure if I shared this with you all, but there is an app, and I've been using this app for a long time to track different music, to track new music, things of that nature. And the name of the app is called Music Harbor. Music Harbor, H. A-R-B-O-R, Music Harbor. Go download that app. It's free. It doesn't do anything to your phone. Like I said, I've been using it for a long time. Um, But it allows you to sync it with either your Spotify account or your Apple account. Now, you can spend extra money for them to be able to do different things. Of course, you know, people want to get their money. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. But um, it still tracks the artists that you follow. So if you're an artist that you know of is dropping a single or something and you forget about it, but you go to Music Harbor and you look it up, (coughs) and you look it up, it generates and lets you know, hey, so-and-so just dropped the album today or so-and-so just dropped the single today. So... You can go through there and uh, set it to, you know, to do that. So that's what I usually do. I usually follow a lot of Christian artists, even if I really don't know them. But if they're a Christian artist, I follow them. So when I go to Music Harbor, I um, look at it and it updates a lot of music and everything. It lets me know, hey, this artist dropped, this artist dropped. And I utilize this because of what I do. You know, we promote music, we're a radio station, so it's it's best for me to have my ear to the ground and knowing what's going on so that I can report it, so that we can report it, you know, back to you all. So um, that's just something that, you know, that I go through and that I do to try to keep myself abreast of um, what's going on within the um, CHH and within the music Christian music genre, uh, period. I do need to get a lot better on uh, following some rock groups and everything on there. So, but uh, yeah, you can follow rock groups. I mean, any genre that you, not just Christian, of course, but you can, you know, follow hip hop, R and B, folk. I mean, whatever you follow, they'll they'll update it for you. So, yeah, y'all go check out Music Harbor. And no, we don't get paid by Music Harbor or anything. I just, 
you know, like the app, and I know that there's a lot of people out here that follow music, so that's a good way um, to doing that. So, um, you have any ways of following following the artists that you follow, Captain J? Other than I get folks that will send me uh, send me music or kind of watch. Uh, I could uh, amateur soccer watch their pages. Um, like Saved by Scarlet, you know, Nate always sends me, you know, when he get, when they got new stuff coming out. But like with that music harbor, which is, it's nice that it connects with your Spotify or Apple Music, but unfortunately I don't use either one of those. <laughs> That's downfall. I don't, I don't use those for I, Apple Music. I don't, I, I don't use that. And, uh, I might have to Spotify. get you set up on my, um, on my Apple Music so we can do the, do the team thing. Yeah. I just, I just, I, I'm not text savvy. Uh, I'm not text savvy. Just, I, there's so many things to utilize. I'm like, I, Spotify, I didn't, get, I didn't care for, and I tried to use it a couple times. I, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I mean, I, but I do have, um, there's free CCM, which is contemporary Christian music. That's a thing I signed up with, and they send out, like, new tracks and stuff for different artists. That's contemporary Christian. Yeah, I have that too. Yeah. Yeah. So you sign into that and then they give me your email address and then they they'll start to send you new music. Hmm. So Okay. okay. So, so I, I, I sign into that. Um trying to see what else there is. That's really about it. I said my, my unfortunately my, my biggest focus like say so your thing was like I said doing the shows and all that. My primary was always doing events. So getting new music mm-hmm. was Honestly, secondary is like, hey, you got music, cool. People send me music, cool. And then I kind of keep into that. But I was always worried. I was focused more on doing it. No, I was focused more on events. Like, I set up two extreme tours already this year. You know, one in Galesburg, one in Gastonia. I got that set. And I'm doing one here. We're going to get one in Burlington. And I'm going to start doing others. That's kind of where my, my go-to is. And uh, so I get that all figured out. Getting music is a secondary in my head. Music. I don't know. Well, that's why that's why God saw you know saw fit to put us together because He mm-hmm. knew you know your strength was events and things of that nature, and my strength were you know doing interviews and getting music and uh, things like that. So and just just yeah. put us both together. So definitely. Yeah, I, yeah. I was never supposed to be on the radio. That was never my I mean ever. As all you do behind the scenes, do the events, do all that stuff, and somebody else is doing the radio. Oh, so, never, oh we feel so I'm like, bad oh. for you. Yeah, well, then there's something on the radio. You get a different plan. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, <laughs> Well, like I said, y'all, it's uh, Music Friday, which we're going to change that name and think of another name because a lot of people bring up and say New Music Friday, things of that nature. So I don't want to keep using the same thing, but hey, what works? But we'll, we'll think of something that fits, you know, what's for breakfast. We'll, we'll think of something, you know. What kind of omelet are we making today? Musically, what kind of omelet are we making today? We have three ingredients. We have one Angie Rose with lime excuse me, with Lifeline. Two, we're going to sprinkle in a little bit of Elohim with Secrets. And then we may top it off with some Chris Graham, Don't Wait. All right? So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy your omelet, and we'll be right back with more What's for Breakfast.
Mm. Was talking with a mutual friend that introduced us. But I was at a time in my life when I couldn't do much. Hesitant to approach, too scared of me looking stupid. But that didn't bother you, it just made you want to pursue it. Five months out of a breakup, still salty, still jaded by the pain that it cost me. Trying to protect my ego, so part of me was heavily guarded, but part of me knew you the type, you shouldn't be disregarded. And so we continued talking, really started to know you, started building trust, had a couple of things to show you. Told you a couple secrets I probably shouldn't have told you, but my heart was wide open and you were there to console it. I saw the way you loved me, you spoke it and then you showed it. We connected through a couple of texts that made me notice that my love started growing for you, I couldn't control it. Doing my best to show it, but really want you to know it. I look at the moments captured, look at the moments missed, and I wish I could play it backwards. Whenever we together, I feel you making me better, and every moment missed, I forget that it ever happened. When I be tripping, you whispering to my ear, tell me something to call me, tell me something that's real. Some people don't get it, they think that I'm acting weird, it ain't weird, it's all love, can't help the way that I feel. And you always think different, always being sincere, sit with me when I'm writing, encourage me with the skills. When I'm stressed, you always notice, something I can't conceal, had a lot of heartbreaks, but I'm ready to seal the deal. You my everything, you my everything, so my heart committed to you like a wedding ring. When I'm with you, it's a makeover upgrade. No more settling, you show me the finer things. Yeah. You didn't think this would happen. How 
hell did you end up this way? Yeah. Let's have a moment of truth. Right now, it's up to you. Avoiding things won't make it better. Avoiding things won't make it better. Tell me what you waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, 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 man, that is the what's for breakfast omelet. We uh, put some ingredients together. We still have more ingredients for y'all. Don't worry about it. You know, we just sprinkled a little bit on there just to give us some flavor. But um, we're going we're gonna to give y'all a little bit more a little bit later on. Man, oh, man, man, man. Angie Rose never disappoints. Uh, once again, it was Angie Rose with uh, Lifeline. Then our man El- Elohim with uh, Secrets, and then followed it up with Chris Graham with Don't Wait. Um, yeah, so definitely some uh, strong, strong individuals, strong brothers and sisters within the faith uh, doing their thing. What did you think, uh, uh, Captain J? I like them all. I, they got a um, nice little soulful sound. I can't remember which one that was. That was Andrew Rose, I believe. Andrew Rose? Or, yeah. Um, yeah, I was like, yeah, I like to hear new stuff for the first time. Like, I don't get into them until like the second or third time usually. So I'm just trying to focus in on what it is. And then then I see if it sticks with me later on. And I have to go back to it later. <laughs> <laughs> so, but during that, I was processing a, a name for the, the new music thing on Friday. I don't know if I should put it out on the air, but I'm going to throw it out there and see what we what we, what you think. See if it sticks. Like, like, okay. Like oh, like, like thick oatmeal that's thrown against the wall. Um, <laughs> Fresh Food Friday. Say it Fresh again. Food, music, Fresh Food Friday. Fresh Food Friday. Okay. Okay. Fresh Food Friday. Okay. Because food is because music is you no know, food for the soul. Okay, I got you. I got you. And it's new. (laughs) I got you. That's it. I don't think. Yeah, that's Blue Friday. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I thought you had a couple of them to to go through. Oh, I only got one. It's six thirty in the morning. Because <laughs> I agree, say shoot, we can we can do a little poll about it and and see you know see who uh, see who who votes for what, but um. I know, yeah, yeah, between our sausage and bacon, this is Friday. We're we'll going ahead and wrap up the poll. The poll, you know, as y'all probably already guessed, um, bacon won. Bacon is the winner, so definitely people love their bacon, man. People love their bacon. It's all good. <laughs> people love their bacon. But, um, man, okay, okay. You said fresh food. Friday. Friday. Okay, I like that. I like that. Fresh fruit fresh food Friday. Man, that that's that's a mouthful, but yeah, I like that. <laughs> well it's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely like a good idea. Yeah, oh I like it. I like it definitely. <laughs> it'll it'll catch on, you know, for what we're for our show. And now I, w- I wanna see somebody else piggyback off of it and try to take it, but it's all good, you know. <laughs> Imitation is the best form of flattery. So that's what they say. <laughs> but um 
Yeah, let's jump into a little bit of sports. As y'all know, the NBA Finals have uh, kicked off and started off between the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat. Um, If you are a Heat fan, unfortunately, you all did not win on yesterday. The Denver Nuggets uh, won the game 104-93. One thing I will say, though, I didn't get a chance to look at the game at all, but um, as far as with the score, is the Heat has nothing to hang their head about because that's not – at least it's not a super blowout. You know, Denver didn't beat them by 20-something points. So as long as they don't fall, you know, I believe as long as the Heat can get at least game two – well, hold on. They're still, I believe they're still going to be in Denver for game two. Game two is Sunday night. Yeah, and I believe they're still going to be in Denver. So, hmm. If they could still win in Denver, that would be great. You know, but if they go down 2-0, I, I don't know. I really don't know if um, Miami, Miami's a great team. And, yes, granted, they didn't go back home and play yet, but I, I believe that, um, you know, Denver is a strong enough team that if they if they have a 2-0 lead, that they may be able to sweep Miami. Sweep Miami. So, I, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But the next two – well, the next game is going to be in Denver. Um, and then the two games after that, they go to uh, Miami. So, um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens there. Uh, like I said, next game, game two is Sunday, June 4th. Game three is Wednesday, June 7th. And game four is Friday, June 9th. So we will keep y'all updated on the scores on that and let y'all know um, what's going on. So, Captain Jay, yeah, any thoughts? <laughs> Who has home court advantage? Um, the-, the home court advantage goes to the Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets. Okay, so yeah, I think they have it. Yeah. Um, the other thing I saw, um, Plain James posted this yesterday. Um, he's going for boneless wings. It took me a second to catch on what he meant. Boneless wings, <laughs> the Nuggets. <laughs> like, I don't like that. I'm not going for the Denver Nuggets because oh. I like I like boneless I like boneless wings. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> But but see, actually, if you really look at it, Nuggets aren't boneless wings. Yeah, well, yeah. no, N- no, no Nuggets are processed <laughs> processed meat. Well, there's boneless wings though, which are kind of like, which are basically nuggets. Okay, next time you get a chicken, get a chicken wing, take the bone out first, sit it on your plate, and you tell me, does it look like a nugget? Well, it's still a nugget. It is because it's it's. it's no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't eat wings. No, I do not. You don't eat wings. No, uh, I don't eat No, I don't like, I don't like things with bones. Too what? To work with. Are you serious? To work with. So you don't eat yeah. chicken? Well, if I do, it's usually bone skin. Like I'll get bone skin, bone skin with chicken breast, or I'll get nuggets at a restaurant. When the restaurants have boneless wings, they're nuggets. They are. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't get a wing and try to chew off the bone. That's you not know, too much work. I never knew yeah. that about you. Too much work. I never knew that. Wow, man, mine is yeah. blown, ladies and gentlemen, right here on what's <laughs> for breakfast. I mean, goodness, never. Not chicken wing. <laughs> I never knew that about Captain J. Man, wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Good to know. So I'm glad I didn't go and buy a box of chicken and say, hey, I'm going to surprise them. <laughs> <laughs> you got chicken wings a lot, buddy. It just takes too much time to eat it. No, then you got to, yeah. Well, I'll, if somebody brings some chicken wings, I'll eat yours. Let's just put it that okay. way then. Or I'll take the bones out so you can have the nugget. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll have the nugget. <laughs> 
That's what, that's what bonus wins are, because they're not good. I don't agree with you. And I wonder if anybody else out there agrees or disagrees. Do you agree, ladies and gentlemen, if um, chicken nuggets is nothing but boneless wings? I don't agree. Because if, if I pull the bones out of a chicken wing, it's not a nugget sitting there on my plate. It's just boneless wing. Well, that's what they're, well, that's what they're saying. But what, a bone, what, a, what makes a chicken wing a chicken wing is that it has a bone in it. If it doesn't have a, the bones in it, then it's just a nugget. But it's not thing. even the same part of the meat, though. It's not even no. the same part oh. of the animal. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, not, well, they're not referring to that. They're just referring to the fact that it's not a wing anymore. It's not It's not a wing anymore if his bone's not in it. That's what makes it a wing. <laughs> but I do like boneless chicken stuff because oh, they're easier to catch. Because they don't have bones. They just kind of lay there and they just <laughs> catch them. There's no chase in the chicken. <laughs> I'm laughing because I can I can I can turn anything into a into a debate. Or I'm joking with <laughs> I'm joking with you. I, I understand okay, exactly. <laughs> I understand exactly what was what was going on, what was being said. But um, it's it's cool out there for make people to think early on a Friday morning. Like, hmm, Jason has a point, but Orlando has a point too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to go out there and get some chicken wings and take the bone out and just lay it on their plate. Orlando was right. This ain't no <laughs> what does it look like? And then I'll this take a no, picture of it. This ain't no nugget. <laughs> all, I, all I know is you don't have a class of chocolate milk with it because that'll, that'll rip you up. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to Jared and his chocolate milk. <laughs> Shout out to Jared. Hope, hopefully your belly is doing okay, buddy. You know, because I know I know somebody else that likes chocolate milk, but they drink their chocolate milk at night. You know, as a as a dessert or as you know, just a, a nighttime aid, not early in the morning before you go to work. I'm telling you, I'll be messed up for the rest of the day if I drink some chocolate milk first thing in the morning. Mm mm. Oh, that's all I gotta have chocolate milk in the morning. I don't do it at night. No. Best part of waking up is chocolate milk in your cup. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I don't think that's what no. I mean, it's older, but Well, see, now um, we have a debate on chicken wings. If uh, chicken wings without the bone is actually nuggets, and we have a debate: is chocolate milk good in the morning or at night? I mean, I, I guess it's, it's to each his own anyway, which way, which way you want to go, what you want to drink it. But I'm telling you, if I'm going to drink any kind of chocolate milk, it, yes, it'll be at night because I have to be close to the bathroom. So I just <laughs> <laughs> it can't be in the morning unless you're going to see this. Well, unless you're going to see me wearing a diaper or something, it, it can't be in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Because sometimes we go to, you know, different jobs or some of that nature, whereas, you know, just don't have access to a stable bathroom. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah there we went. There you go. There you go. Um, you have to remind me about our fresh, what is it, fresh f fresh food Friday. Is that it? Fresh food yeah, it doesn't have to be it. But it's no, 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 no. I like it. We're <laughs> gonna st stop, stop, stop that. It's, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> when you come here to show up today, that's what it's going to be. You're going to like it. That's what it is. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Fresh Food Friday. Fresh Food Friday. Fresh Food Friday. Just have to make sure you can let it roll off your tongue and tongue. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've been preparing this omelet this morning, man. Uh, earlier, we played a couple of different tracks by some folks that uh, released some new music today. And uh, we're going to jump back into it, into some more music here. We have, um, we have a track by uh, artist Phil J. Phil J has been out for a long time uh, doing his thing. Oh, boy, Harvey Hal from... Um, Reach Records, he released uh, some brand new music. And an artist named Jamil, yeah, Jamil released a track today. So uh, we may check them out and we may check out the track by Social Club Misfit. Um, really re released uh, um, a remix to one of their tracks. So we're going to jump into some new music. First up is Phil J. And we'll be right back with more What's for Breakfast. Let 
You looking at me made me feel like I won the award. Feel your breath when they press and record. In the booth, we just don't want to court. With these verses, I'm going to war. I'm just thankful you call me your boy. I just want to be used by my father. Cause the point is to show him my album. I just feel like the time is upon us. We the children in need of his guidance. I don't need no AP to live in this timing. Like it's shady, we still not afraid. Tell my lady I'm here to the grave. Put me in like I play for the Braves. You had a good run, but he closing the game. Mm. With your own hands, share your glory with no man. Leave my heart wide open. Tell me when the walls was closing. Now your heart is flowing. I can't stop this moment. Stand on the top, see it all bitter. When I stand on the rock, see it all clearer. Yeah, my pops told me about a Paul Bearer who can open caskets. He a soul stiller. When you look at my jeans, you can't compare them. Cause the spirit of God gave me raw denim. Had voids in me, only God filled them. Never thought he'd ever put a cross on them.
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back. This is What's for Breakfast right here on Quake RYC Praise News, where music is therapy. Uh, myself and my bro, Captain J, we thank You're y'all good. very much, man. Thank y'all very much. Yes, yes, yes. If y'all would like to tell us what's for breakfast, you know, what, what you're eating or, you know, what you're studying this morning, feel free to do so. Drop us a call at 804-286-2096 or leave us a comment on one of our uh, posts or go to our page and uh, leave a post on on our uh, What's for Breakfast Facebook page and uh, we would definitely uh, read it on our next show. Our next show is Monday morning. Our next show is Monday morning, so definitely, definitely. Um, Captain J, Captain J, I really enjoyed that Harvey, um, the Harvey track. I actually, I don't really hear a lot of people talking about Harvey as much, but he's a, he's a good artist. I really like him. Yeah. Was that the first one? Or was that the second one? That was the second one. The first one was, uh, Phil J. Yeah, that was, I'm like, it's still early. My brain's still (laughs) calculating. Yeah, all the isn't he with uh, is that Reach. He's on Reach Records? Yeah, yeah. Reach Records, yeah. All the, yeah. yeah. I, I know he did a track with Lecrae. I saw that's when I first heard of him. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's he's got some skill there. I mean, the, the first one I liked. He had a, the boom bop. I think it's boom bop kind of feel. So, so yeah. it felt like. <laughs> Yeah, Phil J is pretty good, man. He's worked with a lot of different, um, a lot of different artists in CHH and actually um, outside of CHH. He's an accomplished uh, musician. He plays drums for uh, for a cover band, I believe, as well. And uh, he used to videotape his sessions a lot of times. If they were out playing or something, he would have the camera on him playing the drums. That brother is good. He's He's good at uh, playing those drums. I like that. I used to play the drums back when I was in high school and everything, but I was never that good, though. <laughs> I was good enough. I, I, <laughs> I can just make noise. That's all I can do. <laughs> I, I can't play anything that anyone wants to listen to. Mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you to the time of the day where we get into our uh, What's for Breakfast segment. Uh, Once again, What's for Breakfast segment is the segment of the day where as we come to you and we're trying to feed you spiritually. Uh, We love to have fun. We love to crack jokes. We listen to some great music that can assist in that. But now we're actually digging into the Word of God and opening it up and um, coming to help your day along by feeding you spiritually um we i have a i have a um a verse up uh today it comes to you from hebrews hebrews 9 28 hebrews 9 28 so christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many and he will appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him. Amen. 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 All right. So once again, that was Hebrews nine twenty eight. Um, Captain J. One sec here. That's what my scripture I got. And uh, Colossians uh, three one. Uh, since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your your sights on the realities of heaven, for Christ sits in the place of the, of honor at God's right hand. Amen, amen, amen. Um, yeah. So once again, once again, man. Um, what's for breakfast is here to help feed you spiritually. We want you to start your day off on the right foot and also allowing us um, to start our day off on the right foot as well. Um, Like we said, listening to some great music, which helps a lot of times. And but 
nothing is the replacement of actually getting into the word. So if this is the only time of the day that you're actually listening to a scripture and makes you go back and think about it, then great. We're doing what God set us out to do, you know. So um, at least you're getting it in daily. Um, but we do advise that you get it in on your own time as well and just let it marinate and let God um, change you. It may not happen overnight. I've heard of a lot of testimonies where people will say, oh, God took the, the, the lustfulness of, of porn away from me overnight and it was just gone. Or God took away the taste of cigarettes, you know, and I did it cold turkey. I mean, fantastic, great, but for some people it doesn't work that quickly, you know, mm -hmm. for whatever reason. For whatever reason, it's not you believe in Christ less than what the next person did. It just means it's taking a little bit longer to with with to release that bondage. But you just keep on, you know, doing what you're doing. Keep on praising God. Keep on going to church. Keep on reading your word. And eventually you're going to look up and you're not even doing the things that are that are binding you. So, you know, th that's just my two cents in that. So, mm -hmm. Captain Jay, you have anything for that, bro? Well, like, like you said, um, some people get the, 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 ra the radical uh, healing, you know, from from some sort of addiction or what or whatnot, and and that can happen. Like sometimes there's a, it's, it's it's a process. Um, like I, I we've been getting a lot of you know, getting a lot of you know, we watch scripture, well, not scripture, watch uh, sermons and stuff, and a lot of we've been talking as well. And it's like sometimes you go through those things so you could help somebody else down the road. Um, the radical changes are great. But sometimes if you're going through that path of recovery, that's so you help. And he's using that so you can help somebody down the road. So you can say, I got through it, and this is what I went through. So you, you've experienced it. So you could, so somebody's like, uh, I know what it's like. No, you don't. No, because you've never had it. But if you've had it, you can relate. And then people have that ability to, he's using that pain essentially to, um, help somebody else down the road and it might be five, 10 years on the road. Uh, I know that's happened with me, you know, that aspect I've had that occasion. So it's like, it, it's in his plan. It's in his time. Why he's doing it. But it's not always, don't, don't give, don't give up if it hasn't happened overnight. You know, instantaneous. So that's, that might not be his plan for you. You know, so that's all I got. Amen. Amen. Absolutely <laughs> correct. Absolutely sure. correct on that one. So uh, once again, once again, this has been um, What's for Breakfast. And uh, right here on Quake RYC Praise News, where music is therapy. And yeah, man, we just appreciate y'all time. Once again, thank you for uh, stopping by. Thank you for showing us so much support and love. We have some more um, coming your way. On Monday, we have uh, Joe Bragg, Joe Bragg of Meek Heroes Victory. He will be in the morning to talk about uh, some of the updates about his board game and how you yourself can um, order you a copy for you and your family or for your ministry. Um, if you have a youth group or if you have uh, any group in your church that may be interested uh, purchasing, he's going to be talking about that. And on Tuesday morning, we have the brother, Mr. Pinckney, Mr. Pinckney, um, that's going to be dropping by. He just released a project called The Complex Unity. So uh, make sure y'all go check that out. And uh, yeah, join us, join us Monday and Tuesday morning with our guests. You can always join us. Just dial the number 804-286-2096. And um, man, we love y'all. Thank y'all very much for the support. And we're going to end it off with uh, my man, Eric Cohen. Eric Cohen, Cohen with Amen. I love this track. I, I really do. I really appreciate this track. So y'all have a blessed one. Y'all have an awesome, awesome weekend. And we will see y'all. We will see y'all Monday morning. All right. Peace. <laughs> Got me walking in your
your freedom as you cast away my sin. A M E E got me walking in your freedom as you call my name again. A M E N day out day in. A M E N praise King lift him. Shouting out the war cry, putting on my holy armor, walking on the battlefield, spitting words that bring you honor. Holy Father, what's this carded walking in the muck and mire? Use it for your victory, give him glory for your honor. Cast out as a misfit, what a trick that label did. In my soul, it made me sick, didn't know they full of it. Full of sickness, full of death, speaking evil every breath, mixing chaos like a chef, eating every word they said. A M E N, got me walking in your freedom as you cast away my sin. A M E N, got me walking in your freedom as you call my name again. A M E N, day out, day in. A M E N, praise King, lift him. Let me be a mouthpiece, screaming like a crazy man. Gonna blow your name up, suited up like Taliban. Not reaching for a body count, let him know the great I am. The son of man, the one who can, the one I fly my banner with. Got me screaming, name it. Got me steady praising, lifting up my hands. This is so amazing. Got me going deep, intimate relation. Giving me a victory, the one who holds creation. Shape me like a piece of clay, expressing your magnificence. Every curve and every line, every touch significant, magnificent. Knowing I was heaven sent, not holding on to world's ways, knowing they irrelevant. Writing you a canical, my language is semantical. Like I'm on the seventh, yeah, we calling it sabbatical. Fill me up with wisdom, making me grammatical. Shooting at the enemy, loading up the cannonball. A M E N, got me walking in your freedom as you cast away my sin. A M E N, got me walking in your freedom as you call my name again. A M E N, day out, day. Lifting up the great creator, the righteous one, the vindicator Calling in my heart's persuader, never will be any greater Name of Jesus, holy savior, gave me flavor, gave me favor Etch your word upon my heart, calling in the great engraver One who's present, representing truth so freely, I'm repent Walk away from everything, holy spirit intervention Only one, the chosen one, creation's one and holy son Is coming back and we can't run, cannot run his righteous love Looking for a change of ways, looking for a grand exchange Maybe life just needs to change, call his name cause Jesus saves Saves us from sedation, self-eradication, violence that we're facing and stand up now and change a nation Only you can speak for you Only you can believe the truth Only you can seek out proof Wisdom written for you to view Take it how you want it now The truth is here and calling out Hear the voices getting loud Echoing throughout the house A M E N Got me walking in your freedom As you cast away my sin A M E N Got me walking in your freedom As you call my name again A M E N Day